One of the great things about working at Organic Valley, which I didn't know what to expect when I came here, was the actual place we work in. Uh, there's a beautiful uh, headquarter building. There's different options for living in the Driftless area, which is really cool. Uh, you can live in a city like La Crosse, a small city like Viroqua where we live, uh, or if you want to live on a farm, you can live, barely see any neighbors and be just 10 minutes from town. When I first moved here, uh, I lived in La Crosse. What's great is Organic Valley provides transportation. We have van pools, carpools, different ways to get it. Um, and the beauty and scenery that you see on the drive-in is, is phenomenal. I love all the stuff you can do outdoors in the Driftless region. I didn't know before coming here that there was so much great stuff. In the summer, you can canoe and kayak on the Kickapoo River. Uh, Wildcat, Kickapoo Valley Reserve, uh, all of those places have beautiful trails that you can bike and hike and yeah, I love to do those things with friends and take my dog out for a walk. There's a great little bike shop in town, um, would rival anything you'd see in the city. And so, you know, in the summer, I spend a lot of time outside and, and I, I love that. The beautiful swimming pool in Viroqua um, and some of the best fly fishing in the country, which I didn't know before I came here and in the winter, um, there's outstanding cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, people who snowmobile say there are some of the best trails here. Just, uh, it's really a dream world for people who love to do stuff outdoors. We have a really strong community radio station here. We have a boutique drinkery that's only open on Friday evenings. We have Kickapoo Coffee in the area, which wins awards nationally for being some of the best coffee in the United States. Um, we have a really strong economic development association that acts as a business incubator for younger businesses coming in or entrepreneurs with an idea and that helps them. I also think that the cost of living here is uh, extremely low in comparison and its proximity to Minneapolis and Madison and Milwaukee, Chicago, all those places means that you can take a day trip in just about any direction and be in whatever urban environment you desire. Uh, but then you can always pop back home where it's, uh, it's beautiful and quiet and uh, it's completely, completely unique. Favorite places to shop is the Broca Food Co-op and um, it's really cool because it's a place that on the surface looks like a store but you go in there and it's really the heart of the community. There's always people that I know in there and that um, co-op does so much for this community around food and, and access to food and helping educate people on um, local production and organic and the cooperative principle and it's just I re it's really the heart of the community and it's just such an amazing resource to have here and um, I can't think of another food store in a bigger city that has more to offer than this co-op does. I like Design Menagerie a lot when I walk in there I feel like I'm in a city. Primarily we sell goods by different artisans and lesser known designers um, the majority is U.S. made, but we also have some really beautiful European imports. And, and I'm always looking for really unique, beautiful pieces that are um, just not the kind of things that you can find anywhere else. One of the key things when we were moving here was the schools. We had a 14-year-old coming with us. We wanted to make sure there were good school options, and there are a bunch of options, which is really great. There is a Waldorf Elementary School and a Waldorf High School where people actually come from around the country and around the world to go to school here. There are great public schools in Viroqua and Lafarge and some of the other communities. Um, and there's a Montessori school being uh, built. So there's great school options, which is really important to, was important to us and I'm sure is really important to everyone when making the choice of where to move. Because of the commitment of our community and our teachers, we really see every student as an individual, not a number, and the success of that student's whole education is very important to us. A sense of, of a, the teachers being a really strong support for students and their development. So, and within that, there's a lot of flexibility. So if a student needs extra time to talk about something or has an idea for an exciting and independent study or something that they'd really like to focus on, there are lots of ways for that to happen within the schedule. And I think the choices that we have um, for students uh, is very, very unique. And it's, it's something that you cannot find around the state. To have all these uh, different eclectic choices uh, within one small community, I think benefits um, not only students, but uh, 
parents and the community members as well, knowing that uh, if, if you choose to come to Viroqua, that there's going to be a multitude of opportunities there for you. I have closer friends here and more of them than, um, than I've had anywhere else that I've lived, and I really feel like I'm a part of the area. One of my favorite things about owning a business in Viroqua is uh, there's uh, a lot of funk that's actually happening here right now. And uh, I think the one common denominator that, that a lot of people share in this place is the language of food. So for me being a chef, being a foodie, being able to come here and be super creative with what uh, the farmers are providing me, this place supports it. They love it. Uh, we change our menu every single day because we are kind of an anomaly in the area and, and we have people who will come in and dine with us three to four times a week. Uh, I know that in a farm to table restaurant in a larger metropolitan area, that's not possible. But in this place, it, it is. It, it's a very special, unique place and it's a very special and unique time to be here. It's one of my favorite pieces about owning a business here by far. You can go from a town of 4,000 people that has three community theaters, its own radio station with 60 DJs, um, and then drive 10 miles and go out and help your friend set lines um, for collecting sap for maple syrup out in the woods. The best part about this region is the people. I have met the most amazing group of people. They're all drawn here it seems like for the same reason. There's an energy and a passion and a set of values, um, a set of interests around small scale and organic farming, around art. Uh, I feel like I am myself and I am accepted for who I am. Here it feels like I'm supported as, as a person. 